Hi, my name is William Wei. I'm the CTO of Foxconn Group and MIH. Six months ago, we announced MIH platform. It's an EV open platform for everybody to join. Since then, we have gathered more than 1,500 of global partner to join MIH. As you can see uh, from the flying logo here, we have Qualcomm, MediaTek, ARM, Troy Micro, and more than 1,500 of them. So everybody knows that uh, Foxconn is the number one, the largest contract manufacturer in the world. Everybody know Foxconn's efficiency and able to execute in manufacturing sector. But today I want to talk about the softer side of Foxconn. 10 years ago, Mark Anderson said software is eating the world. Today, 10 years later, the AI expert at Tesla Andrea Capasi said, Software 2.0 is eating software 1.0. I want to talk about the power of software. About 20 years ago, everybody know that we enjoy all the hardware gadgets that are around our everyday life. Today, all the hardware gadget has become a software application and more that we can carry around in our smartphone. So software is defining our world and moving forward. Next is the power of open. We all know Nokia used to be the king of phone. 2007, Apple introduced iPhone. And less than a year, it also introduced the iPhone iOS SDK to open up for everybody to participate in the development of iPhone application. That changed the world. And later, one year later, Android introduced the open source SDK and also include software and hardware. Now, based on the power of software and the power of open, we are introducing the EV open platform, what we call MIH. The platform has software stack and hardware stack. And all the whole vehicle is connected to the internet, ILV cloud. The EV stack is based on the hardware platform. And above the EEA architecture, we'll introduce the real-time automatic grade microkernel OS. On top of it, we'll get all the uh, library, runtime, and tool into EV service layer. We'll open up the whole resource through what we call EV kit to all the third-party developer and OEM who want to come in and build a future EV. All the application sit in two domain. One is what we call mission critical domain and one we call non-mission critical domain. So this open platform will start creating the whole EV ecosystem. All the mission critical application that we familiar with that comply with AutoSA and uh, ADAS, autonomous driving, OTA, vehicle lifecycle management, and all the dynamic remote key and more. And in the non mission critical application domain, we all know we, we're going to have a uh, open carpet architecture with open infotainment 
in the IVI domain. Third party like uh, Alexa Auto, Android Auto, CarPlay, and more can play in this non-mission critical domain, utilizing EV kit. So imagine the future application in autonomous area. Because we have a drive-by-wire interface open up to all the ADAS domain player. MIH is going to have multiple personalized ADAS and autonomous driving as an application. More, because we are platform and API based. Their fleet management company can come and build their, their own fleet, fleet management platform. So is Robot Taxi platform player. And last but not least, connected car and smart city. All the connected smart car in the future, all the user experience is not like a phone or traditional EV. It's gonna be more like a smart mobility space, just like a scenario that we're developing for our smart home and smart office. Everything will be connected to the cloud and to the ILV device. Now we want to talk about mission critical. Our approach to the future EV is like this. We think cars are like smartphones that move with mission critical characteristics. The mission critical characteristics are real time, security, and safety to take care of their sensory perception, vehicle control, and protection for safety. In real time, we'll introduce our TOS edge devices. 5G, 60, and 6G, and beyond, and also to the edge CDN. In security, specifically in cybersecurity, we will have the design in approach, the end to end, edge to edge, edge to cloud, end to end encryption. And the whole vehicle life cycle is managed throughout. Let's talk about safety. The traditional automotive safety ISO 262 ASIO classification, we all cover and we take it seriously. Our drive-by-wire and sensor fusion open API will enable the best-in-class autonomous player to come play in MIH platform. Based on the power of software and open approach, the key in disruption will be car will become able to do the digital twin life cycle and will shorten the development cycle for the car industry. And we will lower the barrier entry to come and build the future EV. Well, there's one more thing. Remember Paul Graham said that Tesla was like an iPhone of EV. And today there's no Android of EV. MIH would like to be the Android or EV platform just like Google have Android. Now what we what we build is the re-imaged from smartphone development environment to move forward to a future EV development environment with MIH reference design to take care of the future OEM car manufacturer requirement and need and open up EV kit to all the developer in our partnership to build all the future EV user experience. Our goal is to have everybody have the EV, EV kit, free access to EV kit to develop all 
user experience based on different kind of domain in a EV. So MIH introduced this strategy compared to the old the past 10 years of smartphone development environment. Then we have more, especially in the mission critical domain. So the last thing that I want to say is everybody is building the Nokia of EV, but MIH is building the Android of EV with an open platform for mainstream and specialized application. Thank you.